watching West Hartford Community Television. Hi, you're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Go Girl Scouts! For the community, by the community. Connor, and you're watching Life and Style with Sarah. It is hard to believe, but it is back to school season again. And if you haven't already done your back to school shopping, I have a great show for you tonight. We are going to talk about some tips and strategies to get through the back to school shopping season successfully. And we have some very special guests who are going to be modeling the latest fall fashions from the Rugged Bear store. My guest today is Carol Bloom. She is the manager of the Rugged Bear store here in West Hartford, and she is going to help us get through this process. Carol, Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting us. It's going to be a fun show tonight, I think. <laughs> a few, maybe a few surprises. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so when you talk to parents about shopping and approaching back to school, I know I get kind of, uh, you don't know what fits. You don't know, you know what they're going to need. What is your What are your thoughts on how to do it successfully? Well, I call it the 3-3 three, three rule. Okay. Uh, kids grow so fast. That's one of the biggest problems. I keep That's telling my girls to stop growing. <laughs> well, they don't. <laughs> kids should really give their parents at least two weeks notice before they grow. Right, but that, exactly. That generally doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, first, look through their closet and see what they have that they like. Then, when you see the styles that they like, for example, if they like twill pants, mm -hmm. if they like cotton nylon pants, uh, as we get towards the winter, if they like corduroy pants, have them choose one of each in different colors. Okay. And then, choose tops that match all three pants, so that there's no question about what to wear on which day. Everything goes with everything. And parents don't have to make a big investment because by December, they may need new things, or by January. Right. That's, a, that's actually a great strategy, because then you don't have drawers full of clothes. And they always pick their favorite few anyway. And then they outgrow half of them that you feel like didn't get worn enough. Right. Often, so. Parents often tell me a child will wear the same thing many times. Mm -hmm. So let the child wear it. Right. I believe clothes for children and adults should be something that helps you feel good about yourself. Yes. And if a child goes off to school feeling good about himself or herself, they do well. Right. Right. Well, and I know there's some sort of statistic about adult closets where you have a full closet and you wear about 20% of the clothes in there and 80% you really probably could get rid of because either you don't like it, you don't feel good in it, doesn't it's fit anymore. It's out of style. Out of right. style. Yeah. So that's a great, a great rule. And then um, uh, you talk, have talked about basics for kids. Like what, what are some standard things that you should really have in a kid's wardrobe? Well, children, and I hear this so many times every day, children have particular taste, whether they like to wear shirts without collars. Yes. Shirts without buttons, tagless shirts. Mm -hmm. Comfort is very important. And most items come, the same item, for example, a crew neck shirt might come in six different colors mm -hmm. so that a child is comfortable. Again, a basic long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. um, a basic sweater, yep. a basic pair of pants for boys and girls, and for a girl, a basic skirt or skort. Mm -hmm. especially for the little ones who are climbing on the playground. Those squirts are just the best. Yes. I'm, I'm, I love the, that the squirt came back. <laughs> it's, it's practical. Yeah. We have more squirts than skirts. Yeah. It's in, rare now to find a skirt that doesn't have the shorts underneath. Right. And just, then if you have a child who doesn't like to wear tights, they don't have to because they've got the shorts underneath and, you know, they can do the monkey bars and be just fine. Right. And you brought up also about... Uh, some little girls, very young girls, like to wear dresses every day. Mm -hmm. And moms like them to have either a legging mm 
mm -hmm. or something, um, a bike short. Mm -hmm. And so in our show, as you know, we will show some alternatives to uh, the traditional pant for a girl. Okay, great. That's great. And then um, what about the best way to involve your children in shopping? So I know you have a philosophy, kind of the psychology behind making your shopping trip successful. <laughs> Why don't you share a little bit about that? Well, just like with anything with children, you don't want to bring your child to any store when he or she is very tired or very mm -hmm. hungry. I realize that kids go to school full days, even kindergartners. And uh, in the summer, they're going to camp. Mm -hmm. They have after-school after activities. First, we are open seven days a week, so that mm -hmm. most stores are, so that you can shop on the weekend when your child mm -hmm. is fresh. Um, if you're coming after school, then let your child have a snack before you come and make it a brief trip. And many parents shop without the kids and buy something in two sizes. And I call it the escape clause. Yes. You can bring something back. That's true. I, I used to shop for my girls all the time. And now they've reached an age where I can't really do that because they have definite opinions about what mm -hmm. they like. And I can't always predict what it's going to be. That's it used true. to be right. you know, the dress all the time, and now it, you know, I just don't know. So we go together, and it's actually becoming fun. You know, we're, I have two girls, so we have the girls shopping, and it's, it's enjoyable as long as we're all well-fed and not tired, Absolutely. <laughs> including myself and it in should that. Be, it should be fun. When um, a family comes into the store, I'm not just talking to the parents. Mm -hmm. I'm also talking to the children. I want them to feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. I want them to feel invested in the shopping experience, that their opinion does count. Mm -hmm. Because, again, if they're happy with what they're wearing, they'll perform well at school. They won't, there won't be arguments in the morning, what shall I wear? Right. And I want them to walk out feeling valued as a person. Right. We have fun. We have a lot of fun yeah. with the kids. You're great with the kids. I've seen you in action. <laughs> and the other, I guess the other thing that you kind of alluded to was the kids having a voice. So maybe it's not the final voice. Mom and dad have the final voice, right. but you know, options, options that are acceptable and then they can choose and then they've made the choice Absolutely. versus you forcing something on them. And then you start the battles of, well, I don't really like it and I don't want to wear it. Right. So. Um, sometimes uh, for example, for school concerts, children have less yes. choice. But for everyday wear and for play wear, why should they not get what I call the vote? Right, right. No, it's, I think that's a great idea. And also, um, I also agree with your point on if they have a favorite outfit and they want to wear it every day, I'm fine with that, as, you know, as long as it's not too grubby. Right, exactly. <laughs> if they don't care, I don't care. They're happy, it fits, they feel good in it. Perfect. Yes. And kids want to fit in. They want to see themselves wearing what the children in their class are wearing. Mm -hmm. um, boys and girls want to feel that uh, this is what I should look like when I go right. to school. Right. So what is new in fall fashions? Is there anything new? Are we kind of staying on the same trend? trends as before or? Well, many things are new. We have coordinated looks from the same group. Mm -hmm. uh, for girls, the baby doll look is still very mm -hmm. big. I mentioned that we have different alternatives to pants. We have different lengths on leggings. Mm -hmm. Some that can be worn with skirts, with dresses. Right. Some that can be worn with the tunic tops. Okay. For boys, we have great sweaters this year, and mm -hmm. we have a line of shirts, which one of our models will wear, okay. which is really uh, the, the biggest hit of all biggest because hit. it picks up boys' interest, whether it's sports or whether it's not sports. Okay. Oh, that's, that's nice. Yes, so There are lots nice. of options. Absolutely. That's great. That's great. So I think we're ready to see some of these fashions. And, our, and, why don't you? and here comes Miss Meg. Miss Meg is wearing a Casey Parker outfit, and she's wearing a rugged bear fleece jacket with it. Before we talk about the outfit, 
if we can just take a look at her sleeve. Notice that the sleeve is a little bit long on Meg, and this yeah, is pull great. Pull it down, that's great. Yep, because down parents so you can see often how long it is. wonder Perfect. what size jacket is appropriate, fleece jacket mm -hmm. or winter jacket for my child. Because you want it to last. And parents yep. often want it to last for two seasons. The whole secret is in the sleeve. And if you can notice that the sleeve comes to Meg's knuckle. Mm -hmm. And that says that her sleeve will still fit her next spring and maybe even next fall. The closer you get to winter, the shorter the sleeve needs to be. But for back to school, this is a great length mm -hmm. and Meg picked a great jacket. She picked it herself because it picks up some of the colors in her um, leggings. And Meg, if you're ready to take off that jacket and hand it to your mom, show off the outfit that you've got. So now you all know that you're meeting one of my daughters. This is Meg. <laughs> and let me tell you a little bit children. about Meg while she's giving the jacket to her mom. I found out that Meg is into Irish step dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> when she's not doing that, she's getting ready to be a second grader. And she goes to the Brayburn School. Her favorite color is blue. Now we talked, Sarah and I just a minute ago, talked about choosing, letting children uh, help choose their own clothes. And Meg helped choose this outfit. It is blue and it is a very relaxed baby doll top. Uh, thank you, Miss Meg. And now Miss Emily is coming out and Meg's gonna stay right there. Yep. And as you notice, Miss Emily, is wearing the same print in a Casey Parker dress. That's a baby doll dress. Each of these outfits can be worn to school, but they can also easily be a going out to dinner outfit. They can be a Thanksgiving outfit. Children like to be uh, dressed up, but not as dressed up as sometimes parents want them to be. They want to be comfortable they too. They want to be comfortable. Yes. Yep. And um, let me tell you a little bit about Miss Emily. She also goes to Braeburn School. She'll be a fourth grader. Uh, she enjoys being in brownies, but I think she's moving up to Girl Scouts this year. Am I correct? Yes. And she enjoys playing basketball. And now we have Miss Abby wearing the third piece to this Casey Parker outfit. Thank you for giving such a lovely spin. All of you, you're great models. And Abby selected a baby doll top. And if you notice, the print matches the print on the girls. Wouldn't they make a nice family picture? She's also wearing, Abby's wearing Casey Parker jeans. Now, jeans are a very important item for both children and adults because they're comfortable, they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, and they go just about anywhere. Let me tell you about Miss Abby. She's also a fourth grader at Brayburn, also moving up from Brownies to Girl Scouts, and also busy with Irish step dancing. And thank you, ladies, for that lovely Can I start. Just, um, point out one thing. May, so we talked about the mix and match. The the leggings that Meg has on could go under Abby's shirt. They right? absolutely could. Oh, and I also wanted to show. Thank you. And here's an alternative. Mm -hmm. If either of the girls who are wearing the baby doll tops just wanted to do a soft legging right. in a solid color. Mm -hmm. So the leggings are a big, still quite big yes. this year. These are a cotton knit, couldn't be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids love to wear them. They come in all kinds of colors. They've got a nice soft waistline. Mm -hmm. And this year we have several lengths on the leggings. We have crop leggings, we have full length leggings, and we also have a yoga pant legging, which has a different, it has a wider leg to mm -hmm. it. All very comfortable. Not, not. Um, at least my girls don't care for tights so much anymore. Nobody, so leggings right, are great. Right. Absolutely. Nobody wants to feel restricted. Thank you, girls. Great job. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> and now next we have our boys. And who do I see coming in first? Thomas. Handsome as can be, Mr. Thomas. Come right in. 
just showing an outfit that can be worn for school or dress up. Thomas is dressed for out to dinner. He's dressed for Thanksgiving or any other family occasion. That's a basic navy blazer that every man in the world has in his <laughs> closet. At some point, he's wearing twill pants and a polo shirt, a long sleeve polo shirt. Thomas will be in second grade at Braeburn School. When he's not busy with school, he loves soccer, he loves baseball, and he loves basketball. And Thomas, if you'd like to just open your jacket for us, just to show that, thank you, sir, that if he, you don't have to take the jacket off, but if he did take it off, that would be a great school outfit. Mm -hmm. So that's a long sleeve polo. That's a long sleeve polo mm -hmm. comes in about six different colors and they're great and the girls wear them as well mm -hmm. as the boys. So that's an example of something, if that's the style you like and you're comfortable in, you could yes. get three plus. And right, and the pants, the twill pants are a basic pant as well. Mm -hmm. It's nice that you can dress it up or wear it casual, that's great. Thank you, Thomas. And we have next. Ready to come in? Sure. Come on <laughs> in, Mr. Michael. <laughs> and Michael is showing, thank you. Michael is showing us another example of an outfit that could go to school or go to Thanksgiving dinner or a family occasion. Mm -hmm. And he is, Michael's a fifth grader at Brayburn. He spent his summer golfing reading Sports Illustrated, biking. And I just wanted to say that this is a new line of 100% cotton sweaters that we are featuring this year. Um, and Michael chose the sweater for comfort. It's got a half zip. He doesn't have to wear anything under it. Someone might choose to wear a mock neck or a turtleneck underneath. Uh, however, it's not necessary. He's wearing the um, comfortable corduroy pants and the outfit can go to school just as well as going out to dinner. And mm -hmm. both of these young men look so handsome mm -hmm. in their outfits. So now our corduroys, I always have this debate with my husband. It used to be the pin pin whale, oh, the wide and whale, the wide they... whale, and that sort of looks like a medium whale. Is it kind of anything goes now? Uh, this is more of, I would say, almost a narrow whale that uh -huh. we've had for the past few years. I haven't seen wide whale in a long time. Okay. And we have girls' corduroys that also have a fairly narrow mm -hmm. whale. And that's just a fashion. Yeah, choice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, boys. Thank you, gentlemen. And while we're uh, waiting for the kids to mm -hmm. change, we were showing Meg's fleece, and I yes. just wanted to show another item which is new this year mm -hmm. in fleece. And this one, you notice the style, Meg was wearing a very basic one. This yes. is basic as well. It could be a little bit more dressed up because of the mm -hmm. trim along the hem and the trim along the neckline and the sleeves. Uh, very basic, uh, comes in red and in this chocolate brown. And the nice thing about fleece is um, it's semi-waterproof, but mostly it's warm. Mm -hmm. You can wear fleece all through the winter, even on those bitter cold days. Some kids just don't want to wear winter jackets. Yes, and we've had that happen. <laughs> unless someone's outside in the snow for, yeah. say, an hour, you really can get away, even right. in a, on a snowy day or a rainy day, with fleece. It's a nice so you, alternative to the winter jacket. Would you want to then uh, kind of up the layer you have underneath, though, like a sweater versus right. just a Fleece is shirt really or something. the warmest fabric that you can put on yourself or your child. Some children also. Uh, are just warm naturally, and yes. to wear a sweater or another layering right. piece, they're just too warm. Right. However, that's a matter of comfort again. Right. My philosophy always was, you know, if they're cold enough, they'll ask for their coat. Exactly. <laughs> they'll it, let me know when they're cold enough for their right. coat, and, exactly. and I'll have it. <laughs> and I that's see that great. our ladies are back and ready, and here comes Miss Meg again. 
And Meg is wearing a Casey Parker outfit, which could be dressed up or could be a school outfit. Uh, hot pink is going to be a big color this year for the fall. She's got a basic white turtleneck on underneath and that great sweater, which just makes it an outfit. Mm -hmm. And Miss Meg spent her summer reading, going to camp, and she told me that as an adult, she's thinking about either being a teacher or a librarian. And she looks great. Now and those pants are velveteen. Velveteen, what is that material velour. considered? Velour. Velour. Okay, velour. And that could be dressed, again, dressy or right. not so dressy. And um, of course she could, uh, without the sweater, mm -hmm. which you do not have to take off Miss Meg, uh, she could put a more mm -hmm. casual top, mm -hmm. such as a fleece, and right. it would go to school really right. well. Right. Very nice. Thank you, Miss Meg. And who? We have Emily now. And now Miss Emily's coming back. And here we are again showing another way to wear those jeans and a baby doll top. These tops are so comfortable. That's why mm -hmm. girls and women alike uh, have been enjoying the fashion. And I, I personally hope this fashion stays um, popular for mm -hmm. a while because it looks great and the kids are comfortable. And Miss Emily, I had something else I wanted to say about Miss Emily, um, might even enjoy wearing something like that under her doctor's smock one day because she told me she plans to be a pediatrician. Wow, I didn't know that, that's great. And I also wanted to show some other, another top that could go with the jeans. This top is by Roxy. Now here's what looks like a simple t-shirt and it is, but it's got that layered look. This is one shirt. Mm -hmm. And again, on, it's a very soft, comfortable top. And this not only would go with the jeans that Emily's wearing, but it's part of a group that we're going to see uh, Miss Abby wearing. And come on out, Miss Abby. So this layered look is still, I mean, very, that kind of started popular. last year, so it's still quite popular. Yes, okay. and from the smile on Abby's face, you can tell she's really happy with what she's wearing. This is Roxy. Roxy is a um, bigger girls group, and it's comfortable. She's wearing a sweatshirt. Uh, again, you can see the pattern on the sleeve. She's wearing our girls' basic narrow whale corduroy pants. They are cargo pants. Girls as well as boys like those cargo pockets. They're mm -hmm. very fashionable. And um, Miss Abby, if you would unzip, and I think you said you wanted to pass your sweatshirt over to your mom to show her. To the secrets out, this is my other daughter. <laughs> my older girl. Who is a recent birthday girl. Yes, so we can Gee, say happy birthday. I can't believe it. And and Abby is wearing another one of the Roxy uh, double T-shirt looks. It's mm -hmm. just one shirt, but the sleeve has a different pattern, and they're fun. They're mm -hmm. soft. The girls chose these tops because of the comfort, mm -hmm. and they like the uh, the option for the designs that's mm -hmm. on them. Um. Now, um, the baby doll tops and some of the colors and things are very kind of 60s, 70s flashback, aren't they? Well, uh, that brings up another thing which we're not showing in the, in the fashion show tonight. Retro is in and tie-dye is one of the mm. hottest, hottest uh, patterns. It's been big for uh, all through the summer and for the fall. Mm -hmm. And we have girls' cuts, we have boys' cuts in the tie-dye, tie -dye, very, very mm -hmm. popular. And again, tie-dye could go with the uh, boys' or girls' corduroys, mm -hmm. boys' or girls' jeans. And I just wanted to mention on the pants for the boys and mm -hmm. the girls, uh, you cannot see this, but for comfort and fit, there are internal buttons so that mm -hmm. if the waist has to be taken in, because we fit yes. pants by length, and waist size 
is not as important because right. it can be adjusted. That's great. I love that because if you fit all sizes that way, absolutely. Which is nice. And the girls look happy because they feel good in what they're wearing. And I think they look sensational, all A students. Thank you, girls. And I don't think that I mentioned what Miss Abby wants to do. Oh, even though, it, come on out, Thomas, that's fine. Even though Abby is off now, um, I would like to say that Abby told me she would possibly like to be a detective when she's an adult. So I know I'm going to watch my mm -hmm. step with her. <laughs> Mr. Thomas is back and wearing one of our most popular fleece items, and that's the fleece jacket. The nice thing about the fleece jacket, in the early fall, if a child has to wait outside for a school bus, can be worn just as mm -hmm. is and later on if he needs something over it it's a nice layering piece yep. did you want to take that off now and he's wearing one of our most popular sports shirts over cargo pants and they're actually on, cargo zip off pants thomas is wearing them as a pant this is the same pant shown without the bottom we can have a hot September, right. start off with just the shorts, and then later on, or in the spring, have shorts and you've got pants. And Thomas, it's if you so would clever. just let us see the picture on the back of your shirt, mm -hmm. please. And Thomas told me he plays soccer and chose the soccer shirt. The nice thing about this particular line of shirts, it's the all about, and this one is all about lacrosse and we have basketball, but I'm very excited to say this year we have guitars because that's very popular mm -hmm. instruments and there are boys and girls who prefer to show yep. the music instead yep. of the sport. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. And we have our last outfit. And out comes Michael. Michael. And Michael's wearing a very popular boys group from Quicksilver. Again, notice the cargo pant, very popular with boys and girls. He's got a Quicksilver long sleeve t-shirt and over it he's wearing the sweatshirt. Great layering look. Mm -hmm. And when Michael came into the store, I noticed he was wearing a baseball cap. I said, pick out a life is good because that's a very popular mm -hmm. item as well. And he's comfortable wearing a cap. Looks great, Michael. Absolutely great. excellent. Well, I am sad to say we're running out of time. So girls, why don't you come back and join us? We can see all of the great casual looks from the Rugged Bear for not all of them, but our, their selections, their personal selections. Um, this has been great and so many options. I love the zip off pants, the different uh, printed shirts um, and um, you guys feel good yeah. are these outfits you you would wear yeah. to school yeah. yeah well thank you so much for being our models this was really this was very very fun Carol thank you so much thank for, you so much for coming this has been um, been fun some good tips about how to make that back to school shopping successful not full of tears and relaxing hopefully and relaxing and fun I'm Sarah Connor. You've been watching Life in Style with Sarah. Uh, make sure to take some time next month to see another brand new episode of Life in Style with Sarah. Thanks for watching and good night. Mm -hmm.